Hi guys, welcome sa Zip Nayan. In this video ay uh, tutuloy natin yung practice natin on solving derivatives, no? Uh, kung sinusundan nito series natin, nagsusolve tayo ng mga problems, no? Ng uh, derivative problems using the formulas that we have learned so far, no? So of course, there are other formulas that we can use. Kung alam nyo na, but uh, as of now, magsistick muna dito tayo sa ating uh, napag-aralan, no? So, here we have... Uh, a function y equals 4x squared plus 12x minus 5 over x cubed. Uh, hindi natin ito pwedeng isolve, no? Kasi uh, at, at its present uh, form, no? Kasi uh, meron tayong division and from here, ang meron lang tayo ay sum and difference. No? So, hindi natin pwedeng gamitin yung uh, mga formulas dito hanggat hindi mo na natin ito nasisimplify or natatransform, no? So, remember, yung sum and difference rule is... Uh, Ang, ang pwede lang natin kunin yung derivative is yung separated by uh, the terms, uh, separated by addition and subtraction. So dito, meron tayong division, hindi pa natin napag-aaralan. Meron formula niya, no, yung quotient rule na tinatawag, but we will discuss that uh, uh, sa mga susunod si, na, ano natin, na tutorial series natin. After nito ay product rule and uh, quotient rule will discuss natin. After tong series of practice natin. So, pwede nyo pag-isipan, no? Uh, kung gusto nyo uh, i-challenge yung sarili nyo, pwede nyo i-pause yung video and then uh, maybe solve and come back later, no? So, you can pause and then after 5 seconds, ay tutuloy ko na yung pag-solve. Okay? You can pause now. Okay, so kung na-pause nyo na at uh, na-solve ninyo, ang, ang isang method dito, isang technique is to... Uh, Use the idea of similar fractions. Pag meron tayong similar fractions, no? Ay, 4 uh, eleventh plus 3 eleventh, no? This is 7 eleventh, no? Pag binaligtad natin ang 7 eleventh, ibig sabihin, pwede natin siyang uh, i-decompose, no? Sa dalawang fraction na pareho yung uh, denominator, no? So, ganun din dito. Pwede natin i-decompose itong uh, uh, expression na to into 4x squared over x cubed plus 12x over x cubed minus 5 over x cubed. Okay? Uh, may x squared tayo dito, may x cubed tayo sa baba. x squared means x times x. x cubed means x times x times x. So may dalawa tayong x's dito, meron tayong tatlo. Ibig sabihin, pwede cancel tayo, meron tayong matitirang isang x sa baba. So magiging 4 over x yan. This is just simple algebra, no? Ganun din dito, uh, meron tayong x sa itaas, meron tayong x cubed sa baba. Maka-cancel itong isang x, matitira sa baba, x squared. No? So, magiging 12 over x squared, and then minus 5 over x cubed. Okay, so, tanong, pwede na ba natin gamitin yung uh, sum and difference rule? Hindi pa rin kasi meron pa tayong, meron pa tayong ano sa baba, no? meron pa tayong, uh, expression sa baba. So, ang, ang, ang ano kasi, ang power rule is dapat yung uh, pwede natin siyang uh, gawing nasa itaas na wala tayong quotient. No? Okay. So, paano natin yan gagawin? Using the uh, negative exponent, pwede natin siya isulat as 4x to the negative 1 plus 12x to the negative 2 and then minus 5x the negative 3. So, this is our y. Okay, pwede na ba? Pwede na natin gamitan ito ng power rule, no? Kasi meron na tayong x to the n. Here, n is negative 1. Here, negative 2. And here, negative 3. No? So, pag x to the n, ang derivative niya ay n. Bababa natin yung n. And then, uh, we subtract 1 from here. No? From the... Uh, exponent. No? So, paano pag may constant siya kasama? For example, uh, meron siya kasamang 4, tatabi lang natin yung 4, no? Then, multiply with the derivative. No? Okay, so, ibig sabihin, uh, to get the derivative, which is uh, denoted by y prime, which we can denote by y prime, so, tatabi natin yung 4, and then, kunin natin yung deriv derivative ng x to the negative 1, which is negative 1, times x to the negative 1 minus 1. Binaba natin yung negative 1, and then we subtract 1 from the exponent. Ito yung power rule. 
Pinabawa natin yung n and then we subtract 1 from the exponent. Kaya sa n times x to the n minus 1. Ganon din sa pangalawang term. We have 12. Pababa natin yung negative 2. And then x to the negative 2 minus 1. We subtract 1 again. Ganon din sa third term. No? Uh, baba natin yung negative 3. And then negative 3 minus 1 sa taas. Meaning this is negative 4. No? 4 times to negative 1 is negative 4. Ano ang x to the negative 1 minus 1? Ano negative 1 minus 1 sa exponent? Negative 2, di ba? Plus, what is 12 times uh, negative 2? This is negative 24. X to the, what is negative 2 minus 1? It's negative 3. And then minus, this is a subtraction sign. And 5 times negative 3 is negative 15. Kamalito kayo, nag-subtract tayo, tapos yung product ng 5 tsaka negative 3, ito yung negative 15. Then we have x to the negative 4. No? So this is negative 4x to the negative 2. Pag nag-plus negative ka, nabig sabihin nun, a plus negative b. Equal siya sa a minus b, di ba? So since nagsasimplify na tayo, no, uh, we uh, minimize the, uh, the symbols, so pwede na natin minus 24 ito. This is minus 24, x to the negative 3, and then I have a plus here. Minus negative is same as plus, no? So this is a plus, and then x to the 15, x to the negative 4. Ngayon, ayaw natin ng negative exponent, no? Kasi uh, sa final answer, mas okay kung uh, positive yung exponent natin. But uh, you ch check with your prof or your teacher, no? Kasi minsan ako. Um, mas gusto ko na positive exponents lahat. So, I don't know if other uh, teachers or professors um, consider negative exponent as correct answer. Sa akin kasi may detection yun. So, negative 4 over x squared minus 24 over, baba natin siya sa, balik natin siya sa baba para may positive, plus 15 over x to the 4. So, Okay, so again, uh, pwede natin itong gamitan ng quotient rule naman, pero hindi pa natin napag-aaralan. So this is one strategy para makita nyo, uh, you uh, decompose the, the expression para makuha nyo yung derivative. So gusto ko kayong invite na mag-subscribe sa ating YouTube channel, youtube.com slash user slash declinemph. You can follow us on Facebook, uh, facebook.com slash declinemph, and our website is declinemph.com. Maraming salamat, see you in the next video.